I'm Marie Tully from Southern Queensland Landscapes. I have been managing a project for the Regional Land Partnerships and the Australian Government Program to do with protecting Brigalow remnants within the Murray-Darling Basin. Within this project, we've been looking at threatened ecological communities of Brigalow and Weeping Mile. I've been working with landholders on private and public land to address some of the threats that are occurring to those communities, such as feral pests, uh, weeds and also threatening processes. My name's Meg. We live on a small cattle property just north of Glen Morgan and we were recently participants in the Regional Land Partnerships Program. Under the Regional Land Partnerships Program, protecting Brigalow remnants in the Murray-Darling Basin, we were fortunate to have a flora and fauna survey conducted on Lockadair. The knowledge of what species are found here allows us to manage threats to our Brigalow. I'm Steve Peck. I'm an ecologist and I've been working on reptiles in the Brigalow Belt for over 20 years. Brigalow and Weeping Mile are threatened ecological communities. They're also incredibly rich in fauna. One of the key features of these communities is their reptile components. There are a number of species that are endemic to the Brigalow. Uh, that means that they're only found in the Brigalow Belt. Unfortunately, some of these species are also threatened. One species that is typical of the Brigalow Belt is the Yakka Skink. This is a large, secretive skink. It, it typifies many of the reptiles found in the Brigalow Belt. It's threatened by fragmentation, pest animals, weeds, inappropriate fire and inappropriate grazing. It is a unique species in that it forms family groups. That is, it lives in a cluster of individuals that is made up of a unrelated breeding pair and several years of offspring. This is unique among reptiles. The Akaskinks like structure. They like logs, burrows, erosion tunnels, and these are all elements that indicate a good, healthy Brigalow community. Removal of these tends to cause the decline of a species in general, but especially the Yakaskink. One of the features of a healthy Brigalow community is an intact ground layer. And here we can find we've got nice established dead logs that provide habitat for snakes and lizards. And on the ground you have a really good intact leaf litter. These are really good indicators for monitoring healthy Brigalow communities. When there's been inappropriate fire regime, logs tend to get burnt. And when if there's inappropriate grazing, you tend to leave the ephemeral grasses and you lose this leaf litter. Another indicator of healthy Brigalow is an intact midstory. The midstory provides habitat for arboreal reptiles like the golden tailed gecko. Maintaining remnant vegetation is the most important conservation effort a land manager can make, but also maintaining and managing quality regrowth can have conservation values for threatened species in the Brigalow community. Maintaining dead standing trees in Brigalow communities is essential for providing habitat. Fencing is an effective tool for land managers to use to protect conservation values of Brigalow communities.